to the third round of the Kansai 2019. On government, we have Hongkin. On opposition, we have um, USSR wannabes. I am Matoki, your chair. Accompanying me is Tamuna Satoru. Okay, whichever. <laughs> right. Anyway, without any further ado, on the motion about marriage, I'd like to call upon the Prime Minister to begin the round. But before that, anyone who has any preferred gender pronoun that they would like to clarify, no good. Um, be reminded, mandatory POI rules. I will intervene if necessary. So that's about it. Right. Without further any, uh, without any further ado, Prime Minister, here. here. <laughs> was done in 1950s, for example, it was not done in 21st century, for example, we would see no possibility of success. And what's what worth waiting instead was the total denial of the rock actress, which is, which is totally counterproductive in terms of the movement. What we want to see here is that as a movement, we have to move step by step. And that's why we say uh, to to, uh, to aim for the gay marriage firstly is rather counterproductive, and that's why we stand for a civil union as a compromise. I'm going to talk about using human speech. Firstly, how should the movement be, and why should the LGBT movement to be standing for realistic and, and sometimes short term, and also uh, sometimes consider short term benefit? And secondary, why we can actually achieve even the long term benefit by the uh, partial compromise. But before a clarification coming from government side, so our goal is to achieve the complete equality of uh, regardless yeah. of uh, their like gender like identity. For that, that no one we prefer the world that no one feel disadvantaged because of their identity. But so our so 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 we so abandon the words gay marriage. It will be as only a temporary compromise that we make. And once we actually get civil unions, for example, we're going to we are going to the next step and eventually uh, to achieve gay marriage. And, and we say this way is the way we're effective. So having clarified that, let's first talk about what should the movement be and why should LGBT movement be standing for. We say that movement should make a strategy based on the context or, context or situation which the, that, that movement is in and they should not sticking to like unrealistic or too idealistic goal, although it actually sounds nice, right? So to talk this, uh, to, to talk this point, let's first uh, examine what kind of context are we talking about? We're talking about that, that country which, uh, of course, like have not legalized gay marriage yet, for example, in the country like India or Malaysia. But there are, those countries are liberal to some extent that they at least do not criminalize being LGBT in the first place. But yet, they are like they, they are less supporters to achieve gay marriage, and there are still uh, some several people who are actually being discriminatory to towards those people. And second, we also we also say that it's almost impossible for the, for those countries to legalize in short term. It takes it almost seems like it takes forever to actually legalize gay marriage. Why is why is that so? Because marriage, for, because the concept of marriage, which is actually rooted in those communities, is really difficult to change. Because marriage actually has a deep cultural meaning for those countries. People stick to the uh, people somehow stick to the concept of marriage because that that is something that they have been uh, that this is something that they have been having for, and there is something that is used to them. And that's why we say some people are really afraid of that change and sometimes because they see that accepting gay marriage is actually those system as a marriage is falling apart. And because we say that, and, and this is especially true, since some people are still like really a discriminatory towards those LGBT people, right? Those, uh, those, those uh, discriminatory people do not want them to in the same system, and that's why we say uh, they have the huge incentive to pressure the government not to legalize those kind of marriage at first, and that's why we say it really takes longer time. So what kind of strategy we should 
take is that we have to make a, a partial compromise, and even and we have to seek even if it's not com complete, we should seek for like more, like more like, uh, really viable options. For example, we should max and 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 why why is it so? Because as a movement is not necessarily standing for the movement itself. The movement is standing for the individuals who are actually believing in the movement. That's why we say we should maximize the benefit that most individuals can get. And that's why we say that movement should not stick to the short-term benefit because uh, by doing so, they have to put out, for example, those LGBT people who want to get married and in like totally suffering them because they can never have uh, marriage or they can never have those kind of system to uh, to to the form of a marriage for the next 30 or 40 years, right? And and, and also secondary, uh, it has to be realistic to some extent because we see as as I'm going to be talking in my second point, this kind of short-term compromise is actually lead to the success in the future. And that's why we see the example in the past, for example, those countries who, who once criminalized LGBTQ, uh, what those country, countries did in the first is to decriminalize decriminalize LGBT LGBT individuals, not to like not to not not to like achieve the complete equality. And that's why we say we also see that but the feminist movement in the first in the in the in at, at, as a first place is to legalize the light, not to achieve the full equality, which actually comes later, right? And we have to say that those kind of, uh, by, by making those kind of partial compromise, those movement is actually succeeding. And that's why as a conclusion, we should, uh, e even to uh, seek for the long-term benefit, and we, uh, okay, and those uh, civil unions allow you to become, for example, together parents of a child, or you can adopt the same last name. These probably go against the cultures of the communities you're talking about. How is civil unions a viable option that gets you this idealistic world? We say that, uh, the, uh, even if we recognize that what, the, what he says, we say still the civil unions is actually better because because we don't really have to like do something with the marriage which is really uh, rooted in people's mind. So going back to my point, the conclusion of, it, of this point is that in opposition to status of paradigm, in what they can do in the next 30 or 40 years to achieve nothing, they're going to have individuals actually suffering from the legal system, but we, what we can do is to achieve 70% of what they want in 4 or 5 years, and then, then we can actually move to the next step. So secondary, why well, we can achieve the better outcome even if you look at the long term? Because we say that, first we say that civil unions is actually the way easier to achieve. Firstly, because uh, there's more likely to compromise, you know, even the discriminatory individual is less likely to uh, uh, to make backlash because this is not really uh, do something with the, with the system itself. And we say that by changing the system in the first, by making that first uh, compromise, that people will get used to it and re be ready to adapt to the next change. And that's why we say, uh, even in, in, even to in order to achieve the long term uh, long term equality, we say this kind of uh, civil union is a the way better, and therefore we are proud of it. Thank the Prime Minister for the speech. Now inviting the Leader of Opposition to begin the opposition's case. Here. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Chair, we do can see the contextualization and, and the goal what government has, the government side in today's debate has set. What we have to achieve on our side of the house is also the complete equality of the LGBTQ movement and also the gay marriage is ultimate for ultimate and fundamental purpose in the current society. But ladies and gentlemen, let me notice the abandon of the words of the catchy phrases of the gay marriage is rather counterproductive to achieve the step-by-step -step move uh, of goal what today's prime minister would like to achieve on their side of the house. Because the two get the 50 benefit 
that we need to uh, we need to require the 100 or the 70 or a much more benefit to uh, to the opponent or to the state itself. That's because the premise of the negotiation isn't a zero versus the one. Rather, the premise of negotiation is based upon the discussion of the proposition and the, uh, and, and the negative itself. That's why the, if the proposition compromise uh, uh, preemptively compromise to require their own demand, rather than also the neg side negative also have the massive incentive to to not to cooperate with that. Other. That's why we are happy to stand here on side of Jishin by hanging out the very radical or to some extent or radical or aggressive world of the of the uh, gay marriage. So as a leader of Jishin, we're gonna bring you two constructive argumentation. Number one, why the gay marriage will never be achieved on side of government, and, and comparatively speaking, how under how under our side of the house we can achieve the better consequences in that. And secondly, how in the opposition paradigm we can achieve the civil legalization of the civil union, comparative speaking. Because on the side, of, uh, it is a main premise coming from the side Prime Minister has said. So, open rebuttal uh, included in my point. So, the first of all, why the gay marriage will never be achieved on the side of government, in comparative speaking, how on the side we can lead to better. So, the, first of all, if the, what, what, we, what, 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 what kind of realistic consequences when the, when the LGBTQ movement abandoned the, hanging out the policy of the gay marriage within the movement? That the internal conflict within the support and within the organization will highly likely to happen. Because the, LG, the momentum of the LGBTQ and membership of also the LGBTQ is not so the one level. Rather, it's having more, much more spectrum. Not only the moderate individual, have the, they can satisfy with the legalization of the civil union, rather also the people the radical have a massive incentive to require complete equality by, by requiring the gay marriage in the first within the movement itself. Those gay, those people on the radical have a loser incentive to cooperate with the mainstream LGBTQ Q movement itself. Why is that? Because they, those those people on the radical have uh, seen that uh, will see that the L mainstream LGBTQ movement is a moderate or the loser of that competition of the negotiation table itself. That's why they will rather lose the incentive to corporate rather leave them, rather leave from the uh, organization and start, establish the new movement itself. Why it is harmful? Because it structure, it causes that uh, decrease of the structural power of that one single unified movement itself. For example, the case of the social status of the LGBTQ movement or the negotiation power with the other opponent of, district, uh, of, of the regional district or the, or the state institution, etc., etc. To achieve, to negotiate with others, financial status or the social status or the reputation from society is absolutely important. That's why when people see the conflict, those people also have lose an incentive to cooperate or sympathize that conflicted organization. What kind of the people will lose an incentive also on, on their side of the house? Two characterization. Number one, particularly the people in the middle, not the liberal, not the conservative, also the, will lose the incentive to cooperate that, rather than hesitate to promote by seeing that conflicted organizations, uh, organization discussion, by seeing the Facebook, by seeing the Twitter discussion, etc., etc. And more importantly, gay people in the Christian community will also lose the sympathy to the cooperation with that uh, hegemonic uh, organization itself, so, because for those people, the LGBTQ movement requirement for the gay marriage is the last resort to voice out their own sexuality itself, but that's, a, that's why the legalization of the civil union team tend to be the compromisation or the lose the competition itself. How it is so harmful? Comparatively speaking, the time frame on our side of the house, we can achieve the better consequences. How do, how do we achieve that? Four levels analysis. First of all, gay marriage is to some extent the catchy phrases. That's why the people in the middle can also recognize it is a spiritual bond with a specific lover, their own their own fundamental love. But the sounds of the but sounds of legal uh, civil union is to some extent unpopular because the people in the middle have no uh, have less knowledge of knowing about what is a civil union, what is in detail and explanation, but etc. etc. And also the media does not have any will lose the incentive to pick up the moment the requirement and opinion of the LGBTQ movement itself. Why is it? Because the gay marriage, uh, for example, the case of the Japan Supreme Court trial, the uh, ha hanging up the gay marriage the, uh, is so catchy and sensational. That's why the media have an incentive, but change, shift the stance to 
the legalization of the civil union is to some extent complex or difficult to understand to, uh, in detail. That's why the media also lose the incentive there. And also, uh, secondly, the vast majority of individuals on, uh, on the uh, heterosexual see the marriage as a fundamental right for all individuals itself. That's why the, uh, those individuals will lose and will cannot understand what exactly we mean the civil union on side government itself. That's why it, it is also directly harmful that. And sadly, even if they can achieve the personal uh, civil union on their side of the house, supporter and people of moderate will get the satisfaction by only achieving the civil union itself. For example, the case of the feminist movement, the momentum of the feminist movement is still so decreased after the, after the women's suffrage has been achieved in 1920 in the United States of America. Why is it? Because the ones, the feminist movement, get the satisfaction by achieving the, by achieving the getting the uh, suffrage and voting right for women, other issue as a by the society and by the supporter itself. That kind of scenario is highly likely to happen on the side of the side of the And fourthly, step by step can never be achieved on their side of the house because the negotiation table and also the side neg negative side will lose an incentive to rather cooperate and, and, negoc and negotiate with others because they will they will see that those LGBTQ movement is very sneaky movement because they will shift the stance, legalization of civil union to the gay marriage, etc., etc. That kind of scenario will highly likely to happen on the side of our dear partner. That's why it is, does not happen. But in comparison, and on, on, uh, to achieve the, uh, the civil union also on our side of the house, it's better because the conservative and also the state institution will start to compromise by, by getting the requirement from the gay, catchy phrases of gay marriage and radical requirement from the, from the LGBTQ movement itself. That's why, for example, in Shibuya or in Setagaya, the regional district of Japan starts to start to introduce the civil union as one of the trigger to make up the platform for the LGBTQ movement itself. That's why to achieve the goal from side of bounty, catchy phrases or the radical phrases absolutely necessary to make to get attention from society and also to unite the unity movement in one single unification. We are very proud to oppose. Okay. Okay, I'd like to thank the Leader of Opposition for the speech, now inviting the Deputy Prime Minister to further the government's case. Chair. <laughs> Team Lamp came from the government side is the more we demand, the more they resist. We think that Sticking to the radical option, which seems to, which is going to be lead to the father backlash for the conservative, is not the is not the wise option. We think we should shift the stance, which is more viable, which is more feasible on the on the for the movement. That's the reason why there is a first feminist movement and second feminist movement. That's the reason why the civil rights movement started to, started to abolish the slavery, not as a first step to push into the black president in the first place. We need to be realistic in this debate. I want to talk about three things. Number one, how the reaction should be when we abolish the words of, uh, abolish the, words of the marriage. In this, in this argument, I'm going to flip the old analysis that came from the leader of opposition, what it's going to be counterproductive. Secondly, about the point of conflicts, how we're better off, but at least they're not mutually exclusive. Sadly, about the points of the long-term consequences and comparison of each after which each, each bench want to protect. All my brothers are integrated on the first point of reaction. So, first thing, uh, in, this, in this argument we believe, we think the reaction on their side of the house for the conservatives will be toxic precisely because we use the word of March. Why that's so? First thing, first thing previous speaker said is that we're going to use a catchy phrases, therefore it will, it will increase that attention, uh, pe more people paid attention to the, to, to, to the gay movement. But they said, and they somehow believe that moderate people will pay attention to the, the gay movement, they will go to support. But notice, at the same time, by using the catchy phrases, you attract, the pay, attract attention came from the conservative people, homophobes, and the Christian movement, and stuff like that. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, attraction will be, uh, there is a, at least a not mutual exclusive, because uh, when the liberal pay attention, at the same time, conservative pay attention. We also see on this comparison, we think in the conservative contest, the attention came from the conservative people, we more like is more because we're talking about the conservative contest. Do we think therefore the catchy phrases is rather counterproductive? 
Then they said is media will pay attention, will, will sensationalize uh, these kind of things. Yes, we agree, but we agree. We, what we say here is media sensationalized in the bad way, ladies and gentlemen. Because because we're not necessarily talking about the countries not only like Japan, we're also talking about countries like Russia, like, like India, uh, countries like that. Media in these countries are oftentimes paid and donated to conservative groups that already have a massive incentive to demonize these groups when they're did so radical phrases or catchy phrases, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, media attention is increased in a bad way that's a counterproductive. No, thank you. Certainly, they said, is a liberal people who support the movement. However, at the same time, we also say the conservative people will also notice the movement, notice the existence of the movement, we're going to be backlash. We think this is more relevant if you consider the fact we are talking, we are talking about is not the United States and, the, and rather the countries like India. Therefore, the conclusion of this analysis is, is yes, attention will increase, and many of sensationalized, but all of this analysis, given the context, is going to be right way and counterproductive. Therefore, the first argument on their side of us, what are opposing to their on their side of us. On to my second point about the conflict. Third, first thing, first thing they, they said is there is a people. Uh, first, uh, there will be a conflict because of liberal support or radical support that don't like the LGBTQ movement shifting the stance. Three responses. Firstly, there is also a people who uh, want to be realistic, who want to be moderate as well. These people on their side of us get mad at these kind of get mad at movements sticking to the unrealistic stance. Therefore, therefore, that on this class there is a comparison whether the backlash from extreme supporters or the backlash from these realistic supporter, moderate supporter. We think that moderate number in terms of number, moderate supporter uh, much more more than this kind of radical supporter. That's the reason why. Even though feminists being moderate right now, there is a kind of criticism of backlash from a radical group like female. However, feminists still maintain their uniting a united movement because a moderate supporter in this feminist movement support this kind of moderate stance. Secondly, we say these even these kind of radical people at least not necessarily go backlash so severely. Why? Because they will be happy with a civil union because 80% of the marriage is same as, as same in a civil union. They are somehow content with a realistic option. Certainly, more importantly, it any anyway happens from the backlash from extreme people. Why? Given the fact this kind of realistic agenda is not viable, these extreme people will get mad at the movement who are consistently failing to achieve the policy that these extreme supporters want. They will think regardless movement are incompetent, not successful, failing. They will get mad at this kind of failing movement. Therefore, on their side of us, given the fact this marriage in this context are so culturally fetishized and they need kind of option to legalize gay marriage itself is not viable, therefore these kind of people, extreme supporters, will get mad anyway rather on their side of house, therefore it's the country intuitively it's going to worsen off their side of house. But you the reason why you said unrealistic, uh, it is realistic, you said that 80% is the same. Why the people who are watching the concert think it's realistic? Because you were you using the different word for marriage which is unfamiliar for people in the majority okay. of society. Perfect, perfect. So let's <laughs> clarify what is said, what, what is the commonality and what is the difference between the civil union and the, and the marriage. But the key difference here is a cultural meaning. Yes, in terms of culture, of culture, there is a huge difference between the civil union and the gay marriage. However, when it comes to the legal differences, there is not that much differences. Maybe slightly, it depends on, direction, depends on jurisdiction. Uh, you cannot have a legal rights to a certain kind of thing, like sharing a property or stuff like that. However, uh, except the cultural differences, almost uh, almost like many, at least I guess, seven percent of it is almost the same with the like you know, the gay marriage uh, in terms of legal rights. Therefore, uh, yes, culture. When it comes to culture, there is a difference. However, all there is a much commonality. Therefore, we think this is going to be viable because in there is no culture meaning which conservatives oftentimes fetishize in terms of religion, in terms of their community value, therefore there will be less backlash, therefore it's easy to pass the law. So, on to my third argument about immediate health. We think it depends on the jurisdiction, however, that not get not even have a civil union is a kind of hell. Because you cannot share the property, you cannot rent a house, you cannot to meet the one of if we cannot meet your partner if that partner get hospitalized. There is a numbers of people who are suffering right now to not get enough any sort of legal rights in terms of like the relationship they have. We think at least we can immediately save these people. We think this is important because we well, immediately save these people because we push the Bible agenda and we think it's important and important because what they're happening on their side of the house is who they benefit on their side of the house is a future generation 
who is get once in the long, long, uh, long after long time legal gay marriage going to be legalized. However, we can at least meet these people by pushing the viable agenda. For all these reasons, we propose this motion. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to thank the Deputy Prime Minister for the speech, now inviting the DLO to further the opposition's case. Here, here. and who are the specific actors we need to target in what specific ways in order to make sure that legislation is passed or society is more open to the idea um, to the people of the same gender coming together. Basically, the bottom line is anything they can do, we can do better. Secondly, I'll focus on specifically give a human face to the discussion we have so far on strategy, that is to say, who are the most vulnerable actors as, we, as the feminist movement should be protected. Right? Um, uh, everything is included in my speech, so let's go. How to realistically change society? Because we've heard a lot from the government side talking about realistic and not being idealistic without a proper analysis of what kind of people in society are affected in what specific ways. They just threw around random words like radical and moderate without really telling us what is it exactly that the moderates want or is willing to do for the sake of what, right? So I will be doing that, right? Uh, the Prime Minister came up and said, we're talking about a context in which not everybody is a religious, devout, devoted, sort of, uh, sort of critic, like, conservative, crazy people, because in their paradigm there has been, for example, an internal shift to, for example, legalize homosexuality, or the context that Juki uh, uh, san specifically used the word liberal. But we don't, really, we, we don't really want to split this between liberal and conservative and moderate. So what are we going to do? We're going to show a world in uh, this probably, even in Russia, even in India, it's probably a world in which no legalization of gay marriage is the result of apathy and ignorance as opposed to hatred, right? For example, people would rather focus on the economy as a political uh, discussion issue than LGBT rights. Or they think that politicians who focus on the social justice bit are not effective at, for example, dip diplomacy or those sort of things. That's specifically the narrative brought to you by center-right poli center -right, uh, support politicians and supporters in Japan, which is LGBTQ issues, that's important, but they're more important issues at hand, right? Based on that, based on the fact that these people are not, don't have built-in cultural, religious, anti-LGBTQ measures that go off when you hear the word gay marriage, how exactly can we change society? Several levels of analysis. Number one, as Yoshi-san told you, uh, media can play an important part in this, right? And she talked about media being conservatively funded, but we don't really think that's the entire case. We think that there's probably equal amount of liberal and conservative outlets because, you know, uh, some, if, it's, if it's full of conservative outlets, a new outlet will come out and say, maybe we can get the liberal demographic and then we can get a larger share of the market as, com as opposed to companies competing only in the conservative market. So you're always going to have a balance of liberal and conservative, so bye-bye I'll choose argument. But what does really happen, right? Uh, we think that, for example, in Japan we have the drama of Sons and Abu, or many other, many other ways to try to normalize the fact of two uh, people of the same gender being in love with each other, right? Or we have, for example, the normalization of the conflict concept of gays wanting to marry. And that's only possible when you have, when you can sit, put that in, for example, a drama, or you can put that in a way that is accessible and consumable to the average audience. That's what gets the viewer ratings, right? What does that mean? You can't spend 15 or 20 minutes talking about the legality of civil unions, or you can't even spend five minutes explaining what a civil union and partnership is and how it's different from a marriage. And obviously, the, these companies are not trying to, not going to want to, for example, focus specifically on these sort of things, right? Now, bottom line is, for the media, it's easier to report and it's easier to put into dramas and normalize into society simple concepts like marriage. Marriage is a simple concept because it's internalized by 
society as a whole that gay marriage is important. So you're obviously going to have more media take that up. And this is specifically important because when the LGBTQ movement tries to push for civil unions instead, you're not going to have the media person say, oh, I have an idea, let's go beyond what the LGBTQ movement says and, and put gay marriage in. It's only when the LGBTQ raises the potential prospect of putting gay marriage in one of the dramas that the bosses at these sort of media corporations go, okay, we can probably make a drama about two guys being in love and getting married at the end. Yeah. Second so little analysis, look at, just look at politicians, right? Because the politicians, uh, because they told us that you're going to have a conservative backlash, but as they probably understand, conservatives aren't going to vote for anything that pleases the LGBTQ community anyway, right? So what does it mean, right? We have to go back, for example, what would be the Kokumi Minshito in Japan, or some moderate commento in Japan, or some moderate, what's stereotypically called moderate parties, which are, they don't have a strong uh, sort of anti-LGBTQ base. What happens then? It's even for them, they know that 30 second sp stump speeches, or they know that sound bites only come in short sentences when, the, when, the, when you, the, they know that the audience understand what it means. If there's a sound bite about civil unions, that's probably not going to be taken up on the night news because the night news has to spend 10 minutes talking about what a civil union is. You get that sound bite into the air on the red, uh, 7 o'clock in the evening only when you use the words like gay, um, gay marriage. And it's specifically even better on our side of the house because in order to, because the LGBTQ community, community while they not, may not be visible, there's still a significant part, for example, let's say one seventh of the community, of the voter community, right? At that point, conservative politicians are going to say, we don't want to fully support the LGBTQ, but we're, we're risking having all the voters go to the middle ground politicians. So we'll put in civil unions into our uh, uh, manifesto so that we can avoid that fate. Yes? It's easy to be hard, but it's easy to get criticized. It's going to be harder to, uh, to make, for you to make people understand or support this agenda. So, Precisely oh, it's easy. It's called marriage. People know, already know what a marriage is. It's easy. We don't really see why that's hard. Because we're not talking about people who directly and always associate marriage with culture, right? Because we, as, we in the liberal community, we still understand what uh, marriage is, but we don't necessarily relate it to some sort of Judeo-Christian culture or some Shinto culture, right? We could marriage is marriage to most people. And those are the people we're talking about, the people who uh, are ignorant or apathetic towards the issue. Moving on to my second point. What the government side here is trying to do is cut off the, you know, the closeted Christian uh, LGBTQ member from society. Because basically what they're saying is, we can cut off culture and trying to change culture from our agenda. We have given up on trying to change the Christian community. That sends out the message to the Christian community, gay people, that says, we don't care about you any longer. All we want is to make sure that you guys don't get in the way and we only focus on the legal stuff. This is especially hard because for these closeted LGBTQ members in Christian communities, there is no media support around them. For example, the faith, as long as it doesn't change, won't help them. Their neighbors probably won't help them because the LGBTQ community is not trying to convince the neighbors that being LGBTQ is not a sin, right? So basically, you, the, LG, the most vulnerable LGBTQ member of society, has lost any hope for society changing and him or her being accepted by the immediate community. We think that's the worst part about this because both sides are trying to improve the state of the LGBTQ as quickly as possible. Why? To save as more people as possible. So basically the most vulnerable people and the most immediate help it has the same goal. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to thank the DOO for the speech. Now inviting the government whip to summarize the debate from the government perspective. Here, here. We concede that their message is very simple and like a easy to appeal to the public, but what they never sufficiently justify from their side of the house is why that simplicity is something good. Like they said that like this narrative is good because it is appealing to the ignorant, like relatively ignorant liberal people. But
But Mr. Speaker, the fact that even like civil union is not still legalized, like exemplifies the fact that there are not so many like liberal people, progressive people in the society that we are talking about. Like we think on our side of the house that like it's somehow reasonable for like our side of the house to like assume that like this debate takes place in the context where the number of the conservative people is larger than the liberal people. Then like we think that the bottleneck of the legalization of the civil union or the gay marriage is actually the opposition from the religious most like religious or politically like conservative people rather than the ignorance of the liberal people. And to like recognizing that we think advocating for civil union is better than their type of message because like advocating for civil union is more difficult to criticize. And that's the like stance that we have been like giving you from our side of the house two issues to look at my speech. First of all, I'd like to examine like whether like simplicity of the message is really good or not, or like whether or not like there like this like message or the phrase of gay marriage is exclusive type of uh, simple message that LGBT movement can utilize. And second of all, I'd like to talk about why like our like strategy is better to attract the supporters within the movement or uh, why our strategy is like uh, better to legalize the civil union. Hold on. Yes. So as long as the movement label themselves as LGBT, reaction from conservative is so serious on your side of the house as long as the LGBTQ movement requires the, some demand for society. What is the ex exclusive difference between government program and opposition program? Yeah. Simply, like it's a matter of extent. Like I yeah. like to like tell more like deeply in the fast crash point, but the difference between this side of the house and our side of the house is a pre-existing image attached to the marriage. Like because people have pre-existing image of the marriage uniquely, it's very difficult for the people to like uh, uh, sympathize with the necessity of the gay marriage. So moving on to the first point about the simplicity. So the main case coming from that side of the house is that on the other side, like the power of the simple phrase will be lost on that fact. We, as I already clarified in the introduction, we concede that this message is very simple and appealing. But what government side has been talking about is that simplicity is rather toxic to like achieve the goal that we have been talking about. Because like it's that simplicity strengthens the narrative coming from the most conservative people, like which is like which has larger number than the liberal people, and also like that like simplicity makes the discourse like something very emotional or religious, and like that like enables people to make a logical comparison of the benefit and harm of the legalization of civil union. No, thank you. For example, like because people have pre-existing image that is like attached to the marriage, for example, like marriage is social recognition that contains uh, somehow religious meanings, for example, like many like religious concerned people jump into the discourse and say that it's simply never acceptable because it's against just against the religious doctrine or just against intuition or something like that, without considering whether that relationship really poses any harm to the society or any harm to their own like ex uh, religious experience. But like uh, in that sense, we think this simplicity is rather toxic to uh, achieve the goal. But second of all, like we also believe that there are other like simple narratives that we can provide like even on the other side of the house. Like the kind of actor that they have been talking about is like uh, uh, modern. Uh, moderate or like liberal people who have uh, who are relatively sympathetic to the LGBT people but like uh, kind of ignorant people but like that kind of people can be attracted by the other like simple narrative for example like we can depict the suffering of the LGBT people whose relationship is not recognized by the society like in the media like and um, then we think on this side of the house that the like, phrase that gay people are suffering because of no recognition from the society is equally intuitive or appealing as the phrase of gay marriage. And also, like the same thing applies to the like uh, analysis about the media, liberal media. Like they say that like liberal media corporations will. Uh, uh, can like effectively use the simple phrase of the gay marriage, but that kind of media like anyway like depicts the like LGBT issues in a positive manner, like by giving you the narrative that I have in, like I have given you in the previous rebuttals, and therefore like we think that first of all like. 
the simplicity is rather toxic to achieve the goal of the movement. But second of all, like there are other other like equally simple simple narrative that can attract like, the supporters from liberal people. No, thank you. Moving on to the second point, like which side is actually better to attract supporters and legalize civil union at the end of the day? What we have from that side of the house is like most radical supporters leave the movement on that side of the house. But what they have like fundamentally ignored from their side of the house is a failure to consistently change the situation in the better way it also loses the moderate supporters of the movement. Like if the like participants of the LGBT community thinks that like if even if like we support LGBT movement anyway, like they will fail, and then like it's better to stop donation to the movement or the participa uh, participate in the gay pride event. Then it further undermines the unity of the community or unity of the movement. For example, like more and more people, uh, LGBT people, become apathetic or giving up the uh, achieving their goal, and like they, some people might continue to like choose to stay in closet it, or like they might engage with the lavender marriage and they continue to hide an identity. And like we think like that kind of like unity is uh, like that kind of damage to the unity of the movement is rather worse off because the number of the moderate supporters within the movement is larger than the number of radical supporters within the movement. Because given the possibility of the backlash, like we think that like in those kind of contexts that we are talking about, there are very small number of uh, very active uh, radical supporters within that movement. And uh, actually, LGBT movement is very loosely connected community. Like, on that occasion, we think that like, continuation of like achieving something is very important. Compared to that, like, we have told you that legalization of civil union creates a momentum within the society and within the social movement, and it further promotes promotion of gay rights, including gay marriage, and for this reason we make it oh. Okay, I'd like to thank the government whip for his speech. Now to summarize the opposition's perspective, I'd like to invite the opposition whip. Here, here. strategy is better to achieve the equal rights. Rights means you have the right to exercise and there is like the people guarantee that. The thing you have to do, what you have to do at the moment, like just pleading for a society, I want this, I want this, doesn't do anything, right? You basically have to firstly negotiate the, the counterparts which has the power to implement the policy, for example government, for example who has a big guardian power. Second of all, you need more supporters behind you, for example, citizens, because in because we live in a democratic society, basically the people you would be negotiating will be elected those people who are citizens. But thirdly is that you need actually unity in your community because look at debate, right? For example, if you, you don't vote to the team which is highly inconsistent, but you actually vote for the people who has a consistent stance, right? We think that in general, this is the comparison between the strategy, they're just jeopardizing first, but they never explain why civil, like that name called civil, Nanakir, membership is a good thing. They never explain about that. So two things to talk about. Firstly, why step by step, which strategy is good? Step by step, we didn't hear any mechanism of that. But secondly, is that well, which label is good? Using the new material, what is that? I don't know, versus much more familiar name called marriage. But before moving on to my analysis, I think they're pretty much dead in this paper because the reason why they're standing in this debate is that people will backlash, that, uh, that like, really radical people will backlash, come into the community and like it destroys people, right? Firstly, 
I think your side of the house happens the same thing because you have to actually explain the content of what is civil union to the people, to the society, right? Which means that probably, probably, those because those uh, radical people will probably jump into the community and say the same thing that, oh, it's a bad thing, right? Which means that if you're standing on the same logic, you're just destroying yourself at their beginning, right? But secondly is that we think the target you have to sway is pretty different, right? You don't have to talk, sway the person who is already radical, but probably like those people will never change, right? But the person we have to sway in this debate is the person who actually in the government, right? Because the government actually adopt the policy and change the society more, right? So we think that the very important analysis is that which side of the house can actually sway those people who has much power, just, just set aside those radicalists who doesn't do shit in the society. So moving on to the first thing about strategy, right? They basically spend about that all step-by-step -step thing is good. One, we didn't hear any, just they use the jargon of all as realistic, and they actually, the Prime Minister used the like, mechanism as all, oh, 80%, so it is sane. Like, firstly, they never explain why that actually like can convince people, because actually in our society, we don't actually see the content, but we actually see the label of the thing to recognize first, right? For example, even if they have, for example, if you use, uh, if you use, for example, Toyota, and if you label a different name of Toyota, probably nobody will buy the car, probably, because we actually come, we actually conceive this content by not what is what is the what is inside the content, but actually the label of the content, right? So they never explain that. But firstly, the, but secondly, but more importantly, is that well, let's imagine a thing, right? Like you want to actually borrow money from your opposing opposition to, to uh, for example, 20,000 yen. What they do is basically this. I want 100 yen, and you get 100 yen. Another thing, you, you said, oh, I want 100 yen. Mr. Speaker, do you think you will be suspicious of that? Because firstly, you don't see what kind of goal you want, right? Basically, what they're doing is that it's like making a debate speech. You're actually making a speech while, without making a goal. You probably, if you judge this, you will see that, oh, where do you want to go, right? But especially, but more importantly, is that, and the, especially in, in a scenario of discussion, you have to recognize what kind of mindset has the, what, what kind of mindset that uh, opposing has, right? Probably, firstly, in discussion, is contingent upon, uh, probably you think that, oh, your counterparts might try to deceive me, right? That's why the leader opposition analysis are pretty important. If you don't sell a goal, and just step by step, people will be suspicious, because you can't see the goal, what, what the, your opponents were trying to say, right? We think that they cannot achieve it step by step, but rather it's counterproductive, right? But third, secondly is that, like, as a, in general discussion, in discussion, it's not about zero one, right? It doesn't happen like, oh, I want this, oh, yeah, I'll give you 100%, right? Usually, it's, it's, it's contingent upon, like, uh, uh, compromise, right? Which means that because both side of the house has different merits, right? Which means that if, it's, if we say first, like, give me 20,000 yen, yeah, even if you can't get the maximum of 20,000 yen, probably you can't get 10,000 yen or 8,000 yen, right? So it, what will happen in a paradigm is that if you lower the bar more and more and more, what will happen is that you'll get the half and the half of the right, right? For example, if you say, give me 10,000, probably they'll get only 5,000 or 4,000 or whatsoever. It's about in general discussion. But more importantly is that Inside the house, what will happen is that it looks so inconsistent, right? That consistent, right? Because firstly, most of the people probably like say, firstly, any unity uh, in the community, what will happen is that those radicalist uh, people who think that uh, gay marriage is important will say that all oh, your wrong thing, and what will happen is that basically uh, which gave up with the deep pride and leave it behind it. The deep opposition is paying this a bit, right? But secondly is that the people actually seeing those actions will think that, oh, which, what kind of stance you're taking, right? That's why in the status quo, what will happen, like, what's going on is basically, it's like in general in debate. Okay. So in terms of persuading politicians, don't you think that politicians are rather afraid of losing get supporters by making radical compromisation, and that compromisation is easier to make when request is comparatively moderate? Um, I think the POI you just made applies to the same thing because you're also doing the same thing as already said that 
radicalist argument, you destroy yourself, right? But, okay, anyways, I'll explain to you why our side of the house is better, right? Firstly, we said that showing the goal is much easier to actually convince people, right? As I already told you in my debate, uh, in my speech, that firstly, that, uh, I, like, it's consistent. But secondly, but more importantly, is that marriage is actually good, right? The word marriage. Because firstly, we recognize actually marriage is one of the important rights, right? For example, like elopement in the status quo. It's actually a bad thing to do, but we think actually con we are get convinced that because we think that like you can you can be with the person which you want to be is actually a right we think is important, right? That's why it is important using the label of marriage as actually be can be a power to convince hundreds of thousands of people in the citizen right, Mr. Speaker. As a community, we think that in general, using the strategy of step by step, I think that's false. But secondly is that the using the label of like marriage is much more better to achieve the goal which we have in the consensus. That's why we both propose. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'd like to thank the opposition whip for the speech. Now inviting the opposition reply to conclude the debate from the opposition's perspective here. Ladies and gentlemen, when we have the world of the marriage, we can easily imagine the spiritual connection with their specific and special lovers in their own life, and also the basic foundation of the familial relationship with their children, or with their lovers, or etc., in comparison to the very ambiguous or unfamiliar phrases of the civil union. Ladies and gentlemen, history of the LGBTQ is a history of discrimination and disenfranchisement and the exclusion. That kind of the struggle against the discrimination and disenfranchisement is one of the legitimate, one of the purpose of the, what the LGBTQ would like to dismantle. Within that, 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 that movement, within that darkness, is the kind of harm that inflicted upon those individuals within the society. Now is the time to give the light as continuous use the utilization of the words of the marriage. That's why we are happy to stand here on side of opposition. As opposition reply, and we are going to bring you two, two uh, criteria. Firstly, about the reaction from society and what kind of the reaction is the most likely scenario in today's debate. Secondly, about to achieve, which is better for the LGBTQ movement and LGBTQ individual within the society, considering the time frame to achieve the civil union, if, if, considering the best case of side government pensions. So, firstly, about the reaction from society. So the main argument from their side is about utilization of the simplified world of the gay marriage is too sensational. That's why the conservative will have a massive incentive to criticize or to jump into the discourse and, and uh, never uh, start to blame, blame that. Or the media will utilize, the utilize their own power to actively blame to or demolish the momentum of the LGBTQ movement, etc. First of all, in terms of the conservative, conservative will never change their own mindset as long as, the, as, long as that movement labels themselves LGBT. Because the, the, the whole government, what government web has said is about ex difference is extent of requirement, but that does not matter in today's debate. Because the, the, the reason why conservative oppose the LGBTQ movement is about the concept of LGBT is unfamiliar, and also the concept existence of LGBTQ against the religious doctrine, or etc. That's why the regardless of consideration of any demand or requirement from the LGBTQ conservative mindset will never change under their side of the house. And secondly, in terms of the media, deputy leader of opposition clearly refuted media is not one-liner. What the DPM has said is about the conservative funded the media, that's why the media will be conservative. But why the media is so one-liner? That there are the multiple media do exist, and also the international media have a massive incentive to criticize that one-liner or, or the conventional media's depiction about the LGBTQ movement itself. So, that's why the exclusive difference from government benches and opposition benches is about under government benches, even the liberal media's coverage about the LGBTQ and the gay marriage will be lost because the LO and DLO has clearly illustrated about the incentive of the media, about the utilization of the drama, utilization of the commentary, or the interview, or etc. etc. Warrant of the gay marriage is too catchy for the elder individual in the public. That's why in terms of the media coverage on our side of the house is comparatively better for the, for the LGBTQ movement itself. Because the important thing for the LGBTQ movement in the first place is to be known from the public. That's why we are happy to take the debate. Secondly, about which is better to achieve the civil union and the government uh, to consider the best case side of government. Clusion failure from government bench is about they only talked about it is a compromisation, it is a 
catchy phrase. Uh, it, is, it is rather better for compromisation for the conservative. But what is the mechanism? How the, how the conservative have an incentive start to compromise their own idea? And so we couldn't understand the logical evaluation from their side of the house. But in comparison, Elo and Hill clearly talked about preemptive requirement of the civil union before uh, 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 abandon, uh, by abandon the, uh, the requirement of the gay marriages cause the chilling effect to the compromisation negotiation because the opposition whip has claimed to today is about the negotiation table start the, start the compromisation with the proposition and the, uh, and the negative itself. That's why the, the, on our side of the house, even if we, achieve, we like to achieve the civil union, on our side of the house, government offers a massive incentive to start the negotiation and compromisation for the requirement for the LGBTQ be a very proud to oppose. Opposition reply. Now inviting to conclude the round the government reply. Here. Vehicle Park. Yes. We think a civil unit is hard to be noticed by the public, but it also hard to get criticized by the conservatives. Their policy, their phrasing of gay marriage is easy to attract attention, however easy to get criticized, especially the majority of population in this particular conservatives, a particular context, i.e. conservative. That is a crucial difference they never ever realize. We think even in a worst case scenario, even in a scenario of apathy within zero or suspicion is better than the hatred and better than the fear which general public is likely to get to likely to gain. If such popular word or catchy word of gay marriage is utilized and actively and offline and openly and sensationalized by the media, I'm gonna look about two things. First of all, is the simplicity is good or not? Or is simplicity is in the very first place unique to the phrase of gay marriage? And secondly, about how the conflicts in the, within the movement would, would be would, would be. So uh, before that, let's clarify the bottom neck on in, of, in this debate. Here's the parallel in the bottleneck uh, or the root cause of the difficulties to push, it, push the LGBT agenda. They talk about the apathy, we talk about the backlash. The answer is maybe same, but be comparative on two levels. First of all, it's what we think our root cause is more relevant to the context. We live in a world in a conservative context, like there is many conservative political groups who fund a political party, or who, many voters and constituents are actually conservative. Do not like the idea of uh, do like the idea of marriage is by nature defined by the male and female. However, they talk about the politicians and people in governments do not care about this kind of people. No, however, as I pointed out, then the point of point you eye to the opposition whip. Politicians generally care about the, how the general public's opinion is, therefore even the people in the government cater to this kind of people in this particular context, therefore the backlash, the haters, uh, fear against the LGBTQ community by fetishizing the concept of, of marriage is more relevant in this way. More in terms of impact, our bottleneck or root cause is far more institutionalized compared to the apathy, because yeah, yes, due to apathy you may lose a ten, uh, thousands of votes a thousand of votes, a thousand of potential votes. However, by causing the backlash, you will you will get the vote against you. The millions and millions of votes against your agenda. We think that is comparatively bad. We think there is a bottleneck in this debate. That the root cause in this difficulty is a backlash of the conservative. Therefore, update or this kind of sound light argument is not necessarily in by this particular framing is not important in this debate. But anyway, let's engage with that. On my first flash about simplicity. We think firstly, but due to the simplicity, this course will be rather toxic because conservative backlash will be amplified because they are more likely to get attractive. Because it is simple, this course will be more emotionalized, therefore it is very easy to demonize emotionally the opponent, precisely because it's, it's not logic, it's emotion, it's very easy. Moreover, it's very to deny for the conservative due to this simplicity because it's very easy to make a criticism like marriage is male and female according to my religion, according to my culture. However, the hard, it's going to be harder for the, for the conservative on their side of the house to make a legal argument, very complicated legal argument against the civil union. That's a crucial difference on their side of the house. And certainly more importantly, simplicity is not necessarily unique to the, unique to, to the phrase of gay marriage in the first place. Legal recognition is not exist by the states for the LGBT community. It's very simple. It's very easy to understand. I don't think gay 
gamers, the world of gamers is so uniquely necessary. They talk about the goal must be clarified, but anyway, they want to compromise in the negotiation, therefore their goal is also to get blurred. And secondly, they talk about a suspicion, a suspicion for the general public. However, suspicious is compared to better than the fear and hatred the general public will have. We think on this comparison, we can win this debate. Briefly about the second point of the conflict, we think about we have consistent closure and failed to analyze, consistent failure also makes support the lead the movement. Comparatively, if he achieve an easy score, if he achieve an easy score, but you can appeal your success, you can get more funding. On this comparative, on their side of the support they will lose a the hope. Anyway, they will lose a hope and leave the movement. However, we can normalize this cause by providing a realistic goal, even on their clash, we will especially comprehensively. Thank you very much.